Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about Jinja variables. So, uh, so far we have talked about what Jinja is. So Jinja is basically a templating engine. It allows us to create templates. Now, this web page that you're seeing right here, this, this file, this HTML structure, this is not actually an HTML file. This is a template for an HTML file, which is used by our Jinja. Now, the focus of this lecture is on Jinja variables. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a Jinja variable. And the way that we can create Jinja variables is, so I'm just going to create a paragraph tag. Jinja variables are going to be surrounded by double by a double pair of curly braces. So double curly braces at the start, double curly braces at the end, like a double pair of curly braces. And within here, you write the name of the Jinja variable. So I'm just going to call it message. Now, this message is actually a placeholder for some data that we, we are going to fill it in or that we are going to provide using our uh, view function, which relates to this URL. So each view function we know relates to a, to a specific URL. That URL has the job of rendering some sort of template at, at a specific location in our memory. With a, with a specific name. And this uh, all of this is done by the view function. So the view function also has the job of uh, filling this placeholder for the message. So uh, there is something, there are two things that I need to tell you before actually showing you how you can work with this message. The first thing is that this is a really cool feature that Jinja allows us to do with HTML. This is not available in actual HTML. So if I run, right click and run it with, uh, um, uh, if I just try to open it with server, you can see that we basically get that. It is some kind of mumbo jumbo that no no user will ever understand okay what what is this but what ginger does is it is going to grab this and it's going to uh, replace it by something meaningful that's why i'm i told you that it is not an html page it is a template for an html page so the first thing that i was about to tell you was that this is going to make our html pages very flexible you can basically add dynamic data which is going to be fetched from the database that that allows us with a lot of flexibility in our application design and two uh, well this is uh, like a warning like a caution point that Jinja variables they don't have any safeguards in html you can provide them literally every anywhere that you want so if you grab this Jinja variable if you cut it and if you paste it right here now this is bad html code this is not going to run but as far as Jinja is concerned it is going to run but this is not actual html code so you need to be very careful wherever it wherever it is that you're trying to provide those Jinja variables that where where they are whether the content where they whether they are the content of a, an html element or they are within the href on, of an anchor element for an HTML page. So you need to be careful at that, uh, uh, about that because there are no safeguards. So even if one of these uh, come in any other way, like in any other place, then you're going to end up with bad HTML code, which is not a good thing. So the, these were the th two things that I wanted to tell you. So now let's go ahead and let's try to uh, provide some value for this message. So within our app, the route, so this is the view function. This entire thing is a view function that is going to be res that is that that is responsible for this HTML page. So the second argument for the rendered template function, I'm just going to provide a comma. The second argument is going to be the name of that that Jinja variable. What is the name of the Jinja variable? So I'm just going to copy that so you really understand what it is. It is message, and using keyword arguments, you're going to provide a value for it. So I'm just going to say trans, um, transmitting uh, from Earth. No, not from Earth. I'm going to say from the view function. Let's save that. Now, whenever I reload this page, you're going to see that we have our paragraph. 
with a slide of typo. There we go. Let's reload that, that again. So we have transmitting from the view function. If we go to the to inspect and try to inspect this, there we go. So it is the paragraph tag. Here we just had a message, but then Ginger replaced this variable, this entire thing that I've highlighted, with this text which came from the view function. So this is the basic idea behind Ginger variables. See you in the next lecture.